welterweight title fight between Bruce Lee and Kamaru Usman. Hey guys, this is Mr. JJ. Today I'll be showing you the world championship between Bruce and Kamaru Usman. I hope you guys will like it. Well, even dating to his time on the Ultimate Fighter DC back in 2015, you got the sense very early on that Kamar Usman could be something special, as he has always put it. I'm a problem. He's a champion. He's a real problem. Yes, he is a problem because he has a pace and pressure that most guys can't handle. We saw it in the RDA fight. We saw it in the Woodley fight. And because his wrestling is so smothering, as he showed in the Marais fight, his striking opportunities open themselves up. Kamaru Usman, as you say, J.A., is a real problem for anybody at 107. And he's a loyalist. He has been true to his coaches, Henry Hoof, Greg Jones, and everybody else. Kamaru Usman has realized the dream, and he'll try to take it to the next level here tonight. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC's welterweight champion of the world. And in a division that has so much depth in that top 15, it's even more remarkable that this man has remained the hunted. The question tonight, with a powerful challenger out of that blue corner, can he walk away and still? And now our tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. So two years, the gap in age, some differences in height and reach as well. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC welterweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 20 wins, three losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida, presenting the challenger, Kamaru, the Nigerian Nightmare, Usman. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Bruce. The Dragon Lee! All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, and a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back to your corners, my fight. Yeah, you would think that he would just avoid grappling at all costs because he seems to have a clear advantage on the feet. But we've seen guys fight with their egos before. Let's see how he approaches this matchup. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a flush knee. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the two. Touch off the top, he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Oh, huge hook. Beautiful punch. He loaded up there on that high kick. 
kick. Whiffs on the straight right hand. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. Nice straight punch. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Lee's kick to the body here. That one appeared to be blocked. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Swing and a miss by Lee. And he landed the right hand there. Looking for the takedown, he gets it. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Lee gets up, he is back on the feet here. Beautiful body. Kick landed there by Usman. A lot of power on display for Kamaru Usman as he lands yet again there. Kamaru Usman showed in the Kobe Covington fight, not only is he the best welterweight in the world, he may just be the toughest welterweight in the world because he went through the fire in order to retain that title. Stiff punch there, nice connection. Oh, nice land. Left hook, yep. Back and forth we go. Lee going for the leg kick, nothing doing there. Lands the right hand. Strikes continuing to pile up. 27 total strikes have landed for Kamaru Usman. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that shot. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Out of range with that one. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Oh, nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. So it was all about the liver kicks and the body attack in that previous round, DC, the highlight. The liver kick is a nasty kick because it only takes one to land in the perfect spot and it will shut your body down completely. You won't be able to stand, you won't be able to fight. All you want to do is exit the octagon. He better get his elbow down or his opponent's gonna continue to take advantage of that weakness. 
Bushman gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. There's no give on that leg kick. Oh, a huge block there. Big kick lands. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're gonna sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Just unable to quite find that range. Bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh! Usman's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Misses with that punch. Just misses with the right. Three minutes remain in the round. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Ooh wee! Ooh wee! What a right hand by this young man. Big kick. So we call on the fight stats here unofficially. 49 total strikes have landed for Kamaru Usman. The accuracy rate 32% against Kamaru Usman. The great punch landed with so much power. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Back to his feet. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg. Both kick. fighters exchange in the pocket here. Trying to go to the body here. Unable to find the target. That kick blocked by Usman. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Plus, right hand is true. Big kick land. Nice little kickboxing exchange there from the welterweight champ, Kamaru Usman. Usman's another one of those guys that came in as a wrestler, has turned into a great striker, which has led him to become the UFC champion. Ooh, big shot, man. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent start to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. Well, no surprise, he goes for the takedown there, unable to get the fight to the canvas. This is a testament to his opponent, his ability to see the shots coming, defend him, and make the fight happen where he wants it to. Ten minutes in the books.
All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the ties of this fight. All right, the action continues here and now as our next right, round gets underway. The previous round would be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Good punch, Lance. Head kick. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Right punch is there. Nice body kick. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Back and forth we go here. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Big kick lands. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Big leg kick land. That shot blocked by Lee. Oh, big left hand there. Tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Great punch. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Nice punch lands over the top. They are throwing both sides with conviction. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Oh, blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. So there it is, taller fighter landing a knee with the body. into that kick. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Back to the feet. Oh! I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful 
successful leg kicks. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Lee. Overhand punch to the head. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper, and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. All right, here we go, fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart, we'll see who has the upper. You feel pretty good at round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the upper. Good stick. Usman's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. That's a crippling shot there. Big knee. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Let's go, let's go, it's a warning. Nice kick. Circling to his right. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Real nice body kick last Lee's kick is blocked. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active. Lee gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Nice job by him there as he continues to kick. He needs to start looking at the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Good run. Nice. Another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there. Oh, oh he might be in trouble here after that big diving punch. And he's back up again. So the takedowns have been there, as have the get-ups. Oh, straight right. Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. So there he is, the undisputed UFC welterweight champion. What a finish he turned in here tonight as he gets it done by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliata has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 50 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed USC Walter Wright champion of the world, Ruth.
What else can you say about Bruce Lee after a performance like this one? Seemingly everyone on the roster wants to take their cracks against one of the founding fathers of mixed martial arts. And candidly, thus far, few men have succeeded. This just might have been Bruce Lee's best performance.